What's up, everyone? It's your boy Dominic Matt. We're here with another video uh, for the TED at IT, um, where I drop some breadcrumbs, some gems on how to start your career here in information technology. And in today's video, I want to share my experience when taking or when I took the the PSEP, the Python Certified Entry Level Programmer uh, certification. Uh, I just received that. I, what I, said, I took that. I took that uh, certification. Well, this I'm gonna be honest with you. This video I'm making right now is pretty like. I probably took this exam maybe two weeks ago now, and uh, man, when taking that exam, it what I'm gonna be honest with you. It wasn't hard because it only dealt dove in the basics of Python programming. You know, what are variables, how to um, create variables, how to uh, assign variables, um, how to uh, the, the correct way of make uh, naming variables. I know a lot of variables. Um, and then it went into uh, operators, uh, the properties of operators. So like what are what, what's the the level properties and which one is over which one, you know, like your plus your minus, your multiplication exponents, your regular division, your floor division, um, stuff like that. And I also went into, uh, if I can remember, if I, I'm trying to, oh yeah, if statements. So if else statements, how to write them, how they are constructed, um, the different ways you can construct if else statements, uh, for loops, while loops, uh, what else? Um, one thing I did not learn, and I'm glad I learned about it, was um, logic operators, logic operators like and, or, not, and bit operators. What we call it? Bit, yeah, bit operators or bit based operators, something like that. I just, I, I just talked about it when I was on Twitter the other day. Matter of fact, yesterday, um, I put it as like, yo, I didn't, you know, I knew about them, but I really didn't dove in depth with it. So I'm gonna be honest with you. When I took the exam, I did not finish. So with the Python, the Python Institute, their website, they give you free material on how to, not free on how to, but free material to study from to prepare you for the PSEP, the pro, like they said, the Python certified, certified entry level programmer. So they give you the material to actually study from and everything. And to be honest with you, me learning Python, um, already like already do like diving into python learning programming and me having a uh software uh a, a, a programming background not software development but well, i mean i'm i wouldn't say that yeah i said coding or pro, pro programming background i kind of just dive right in it i just like one night that night i was just like you know what fuck it i'm gonna do it like that's what i did i literally just said that i literally just said whatever i'm going to do it so i dove right into this uh, certification uh, mind you, this certification, the PSEP is not proctored. So it's non-proctored. That means it's literally a time exam. Um, they do make that up with timing each question that, so like you have a certain amount of minutes, maybe I think it's around uh, like five minutes, maybe if that on each question to figure it out. So they make that up with timing each question. So it's a time exam at the same time, each question is time. So you have a you have a small amount of time to actually try to figure out each question. And mine, like, um, take it my word for it. Some of the questions, like with the bit operators and the logic operators, it took me a little time to actually figure it out. Um, some of the if else statements that was on the exam, there wasn't really hard. They were they were they they weren't tedious. They were tedious, of course. But it wasn't like long for loops or while loops. They were like simple for loops, simple else. Simple if else statements, simple while loops and for loops. And the only thing they wanted was, okay, what is the output when you go through this for loop? Uh, what is the output if we put a break statement or a continue statement in there? Um, what happens if this happens or that happens, you know? So that's, I mean, that's, it was, like I said, it wasn't really hard. It was just really like, just, Get, get, keeping you grounded in the basics. So my advice, if you're trying to go for the PSEP 
and everything like I am. Like I just tried, I, I literally was tried out the, the certification. It was a $60 certification right on the Python Institute's website. I think it's pythoninstitute.org. Um, or you can just Google PCEP, P, well, do, no, Google PCEP with the certification because something else pops up when you look for it. So um, it's a $60. Or is it fifty dollars? It's a fifty-nine dollar exam. I say sixty dollars just to even it out, even numbers. Um, exam that you pay for. Um, you get the exam voucher, and you literally they have a little portal that you sign up for. So basically, you create an account with them. You have your own portal where you can get the study material for free for both the PCEP and if you want to go to the PCAP, which is the uh, associate level, which I'm going to go for. Um, not right now because as of right now, I'm working on my CCNA two hundred three hundred one right now. Um, so that's my, I'm going to try to get that once I finish the CCNA 200-301, but they have everything for you on the website. Um, they have a sandbox that you can play with. They have their own, um, idle, uh, system set up in, within the actual class or the course or whatever, self-study course and everything. So you can sit there, you can program, you can mess around. They give you projects, they give you labs to work on to um, make sure you, this information is solidified in your mind. So you can play around with the sandbox, you can play around with the labs that they have. You can download the labs, you can copy the labs somewhere else. But with the exam itself, the exam, they don't want no, um, they have it to where when you take the exam, they don't want no other uh, browsers open at the time. So you can't have no other programs running at the time. So that's one thing they make up for the non uh, And like I said, it's, it's timed. Um, I think it was like 40 questions. So it was 40. Matter of fact, we can, I'm going to look it up right now. I don't have my screen sharing for right now. But I'll just read off what they have just to be on the safe side. I know I made the video on learning about this, but I just want to be sure I recap. If you never watched that video, look back in my... Um, uh, on my channel and I have a video explaining about my um, what is the piece up and is it worth it and I have a whole video based on that and it tells you the information on that as well but to recap from that video um, the number of questions is 30 is single and multiple choice questions and drag and drop um, you have to have a passing score of 70 percent uh, and like I said the the exam cost $59 here and it's a 45 minute exam approximately five minutes disclosure agreement that so you have to go through a disclosure agreement and all this other stuff in the first five minutes of the exam and everything and like i said they have the study material for you study resources and everything like that that's on like i said the python institute.org so um yeah so like i said the exam was if you have the, the to summarize everything right now if you're like me, you have a background in programming and coding and everything. Like I said, I have like roughly around three to four years before I got into the military. Uh, uh, programming, mostly it was just C++ and Java. It's been a while since I did Java and C++. Mind you, like I have this old, matter of fact, if I can pull out my library right here. Like I have this old Java programming book. This was back in 2000. This is the ninth edition, mind you. There's more editions. I think it maybe two or three more editions ahead of this one. But this one right here, like I got this book, which is a really good book to learn Java. But I got this book back in 2011. 20, yeah, 2011. 2010, 2011, around that, around that time. And um, that was my first ever programming language that I've learned right here. So yeah, so anyway, that was my that's my background on it. My background, um, like I said, during college, I learned Java, C++. I try to, at some points, I learned um, SQL, uh, Ruby, uh, well, Ruby with Rails, which I, that's long gone in my mind. I don't even know last time I even programmed in Ruby. Uh, what else? It's a lot of other ones. I did a little bit of JavaScript and kind of, I didn't really like it. I may get back into it. Um, but for right now, I, I really like Python program. I really like Python, Python three. So that's my go-to. Um, I'm trying to master this language. Like any other language that we, you know, spoken language, you have to master one. Once you master one, which is English for me, then you can go in and master other languages. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't master Russian anyway. Cause of my uh, wife and my son. So yeah. So anyway, like I said, off topic.
come back on topic. Um, to recap, I took the P the PSEP exam. It was for me. It was pretty easy. If you have a background in programming, it should be easy for you. It's the basics, you know, variables, uh, if else statement stuff like that. So if you know, if you have the basics down, uh, me personally, I would just I would go and skim over the modules uh, that were provided by Python Institute. I will skim over them. Um, if you don't reckon, like I said, the bit, the bit operators and the logical operators, that was one thing that I had to really go over a little bit, even though I found out more about it after the fact, I really kind of like had to go through it. That I, like I said, I skimmed through that part. I, I knew the basics of bit operators and how to do like X and Y or X or Y or X not Y or well not X not Y but not X or not Y. So had to go over that. But other than that, like I said, I just said I winged it and went it and I passed it. So um but if you have no idea what Python is, I I strongly advise you to go through that course from top to bottom and learn about Python programming. It tells it tells you from the bait to the history of it, when it was made, who made it. Um, like being named after um, what's the, the 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 English TV show? Um, you know Monty Python. I, I'll be honest with you. I tried watching the movie. Not I love comedy. Maybe if I have to watch a little bit more, it was it was a little bit a little. Some of the parts were funny, but not. It wasn't keeping me entertained. I don't know, but anyway, named after Monty Python's TV show. You know. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Like I said, I, write, I usually write notes to help me remember stuff. So anyway, like I said, um, if you don't know it, get to know it. If you have a, if you have some knowledge about programming, skim over it. Just refresh your mind on what programming is and, and just try to familiarize yourself with Python. Um, utilize their free material. I'm telling you, you don't have to buy the book. I bought a book, um, the automate the boring stuff with Python, which really helped me. Uh, but this was before I knew about the Python programming, the Python programming certification. So I already was like, what, chapter 11 in the book and everything. And when I found out about this, I was like, oh, well, I already have the knowledge of it. Only thing I need to do is refresh my, my refresh and then look over the other, the other uh, subjects that this book didn't cover and I was good to go. Um, so yeah, uh, later on, I'm going to get the PCAP, the Python Certification Associate. So, Certified Associate, so certification, Certified Associate. So, I'm uh, I'm looking to getting that down the road. Uh, but for right now, I'm just doing my CCNA studying right now and trying to get this certification out the way. So, um, thank you for listening. Um, thank you for all the comments and, um, that you live behind. Like I said, ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. You won't know until you ask. I'm telling you, man, you won't know nothing until you ask a question. So ask questions, give your concerns, um, smash that like button, hit the like button, punch it. I don't care. Just make sure you, you don't punch a hole through your computer, but yeah, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like the content that you're seeing, uh, I apologize for not like continuously putting out content, just trying to get myself ready for the CCNA 20301. And I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of material. I mean, two books, um, I have two books that I have to read completely. And then I have a bunch of videos that I need to watch. So I'm just trying to put my, more of my focus on that as right, as right, at right now. Hopefully once I get finished with this certification, I'll take a break and stop trying to go into other certifications. Cause as of right now, I'm just like, I just got my security plus and I'm now I'm going deep into CCNA right off the bat. So, but again, thank you for subscribing or thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the people that's following me. Um, again, smash the like button or smash the dislike button. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about the channel. Tell me what you, if is any advice on the PCAP piece up that you take, like that you can share that if you took it or whatever, let me know what you think about it. Um, but yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you for your time and listening because time is the most valuable thing that we have. So thank you very much for giving me your time to listen. Peace. And I catch you out. Catch you on the next episode.